It's 8 a.m. I'm on the 39th floor, Midtown Manhattan, 51st and 6th Avenue. It's almost my turn. I'm about to go present on a $500 million office portfolio. And at that very moment, everything tightens up. I can't feel my fingers. I can't really see. My heart is literally beating out of my chest. And at that moment, I know I need to get out of there as soon as possible. I sprint to the elevator. I sprint down 6th Avenue to Central Park just to catch my breath. Everything that I'm doing feels wrong. I'm nervous, I'm scared, I'm having another panic attack. And yet everything about this is uncomfortable. And yet everything about this was supposed to make sense. I was following my roots. I was doing everything that I was meant to do. I'm from New York, grew up just 20 minutes outside the city, and I was following the path that my mom had so beautifully created for myself and my two sisters. Working in finance, she spent 40 years in real estate, in finance, in New York. And I was doing the exact same thing, working in real estate, private equity. I was following my roots, following my path, doing everything that I thought made sense. But at that moment, I realized when it comes to roots, roots are really complicated. They're messy, they're tangled, they're everything. And so what made sense on the outside absolutely made no sense to me. I'd been banging a circle into a square for so long, and I needed to make a change. And that's what brought me to Chapel Hill, um, to try to find that, to clean the slate, to start over, and find the roots that made sense. And so I came to Chapel Hill looking for that, and I tried um, to find that. I went to different groups, I did different markets, um, went to California, tried the tech thing, looked at consulting and marketing, other things in real estate, anything to try to make sense. But the one thing that kept coming up for me was I couldn't believe there wasn't a bagel shop here in Chapel Hill. And that blew my mind. And that just natural frustration, natural excitement of I need some bagels in my life um, is what started Brandwine's Bagels. And it wasn't after becoming an entrepreneur. There was no history. We had no family recipes. Um, the thought of me baking um, was truly just incredible. <laughs> I can barely put two pieces of bread together to make a sandwich, but I knew I wanted a bagel. There was something about it that always felt right for me. I'd been eating bagels as far back as I could remember. If you opened up our freezer, there's just a million aluminum foil rolls filled up with bagels, and that was home. And that brown paper bag on the kitchen counter just felt right. For a moment, everything felt okay. And so as I'm in Chapel Hill, falling in love with the people, falling in love with this town and this community, I'm finding this opportunity with bagels. And I'm doing the MBA thing all along, but I kept coming back to working on recipes, talking about the idea, talking about being in a shop, what it would feel like, what it would be like to actually have a bagel shop and create that community of just a place that has really hopefully good food and a place that, that feels good. And so when it came time to finding my summer internship, uh, many people go the traditional route of the investment banking and private equity life. For me, I'd sort of fantasized all year about having a bagel shop. And so I decided, let's go work in a bagel shop. Let's see how that feels. And for me, standing in front of a 500 degree oven for eight hours a day, getting burns everywhere, but running around the corner and yelling out, hot sesame, and seeing people's eyes perk up and having the hustle and the bustle in the shop and the customers and everything, I knew that I was doing something that was fun. And when you think about Roots, I felt like a seven-year-old again. I was going back outside and I was playing every single day with this idea of a bagel shop and I couldn't stop doing it. I wanted to figure out the finances. I wanted to figure out how to make the best bagel, what it would feel like, who we would hire, what our mission and values were, all those things. Um, and that is what felt natural. And so when I thought about this idea of speaking for TED and doing um, the TED Talk and thinking about Roots, bagels for me was just something that was fun. I was passionate about it. And only when I thought back about, yeah, there is this deep connection with bagels. There, this bagels has been this thing that's been part of my life since the very beginning. 
did I realize that your roots are everywhere. They are this tangled mess. And so my advice is follow the things that feel good, follow the things that make you feel happy. And when you look back upon it, somewhere in that mess is gonna be the path that makes sense for you. So thank you so much for letting me share my story. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you.